In this video, we're going to look at finding the area under a graph when we have been given parametric equations. So the question says, find the area under the graph between where x is 4 and where x is 2. So they want us to integrate y with respect to x, but we're given y in terms of t. So we're going to change the question and we're going to integrate with respect to t instead of respect to x. The way we do that is by, you can think of it as dividing by dt and timesing by dt. So we're going to integrate y times dx dt with respect to t. But we also need to change the two x values here into their corresponding t values. So when x is 4, what is t? When x is 2, what is t? So when x is 4, We've got the equation here that links x and t. So when x is 4, what is t? So if we half both sides, 2 equals root t, square both sides, t is 4. So when x is 4, t is 4. And when x is 2, we've got 2 times root t, half both sides, 1 equals root t, square both sides, t is 1. So when x is 2, t is 1. So we're going to integrate y times dx dt with respect to t. And we've got the two bounds here of 4 and 1. So we, we know what y is, but we don't know what dx dt is yet. So that's if x is 2 root t, or we could say x is 2 t to the power of a half. What's dx dt? So we're going to times by the power. Two halves is one. And take one off the power. Half minus one is minus a half. So that means we've got uh, t minus a half. t to the power of minus a half times by y, which is 4t plus 6t to the power of a half with respect to t. So if we expand this bracket, so when we multiply, we add the powers, so that's t minus a half times 4t will be 4t to the power of a half, and we've got plus 6, and t to the power of minus a half times t to the power of a half is 1. So we've just got 6 and with respect to t. So now we integrate. So we add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. So we've got 4t to the power of 3 over 2, over 3 over 2, uh, plus 6t. Uh, we'll put plus c, and between 4 and 1. Uh, let's deal with this. So we've got 4 over 3 over 2. So that's the same as 4 times 2 thirds, which is 8 thirds. So we've got 8 thirds t to the power of 3 over 2 plus 6t. We don't need the plus c because we've got, we're going to be taking them away from each other. So between 4 and 1. So if I substitute in the 4 and the 1 now, 8 thirds times 4 to the power of 3 over 2 plus 6 fours. Take away 8 thirds times 1 to the power of 3 over 2 plus 6 ones. And then we'll simplify. So, I mean, we, we could just put this in the calculator now. We should probably be easier, so let's put this in the calculator. And we get 110 over 3, and I'll just put unit squared. Okay, here's another question. So we've got parametric equations, so we want to change the question 
from integrating X's to integrating T's. So we're going to change the question to Y times DX DT with respect to T. And we also need to change the two X values into T's. So we've got the equation that links X and T. So when X is four, what is T? So four equals four cos T. Divide both sides by four. So one equals cos T. Shift cos one. And that should give us zero. So T is zero. So when X is four, T is zero. And when X is zero, we've got zero equals four cos T. Divide both sides by four. So zero equals cos T. And shift cos zero gives us half pi. So t equals half pi, or pi over two. So we know what y is, y is four sine t, so we can substitute that in. We don't have dx dt yet, so we'll work that out. So four equals, no, x equals four cos t. So dx dt is, so cos differentiates to negative sine so that would be negative for sine t so we've got between 0 and pi over 2 now we've got the biggest one on the bottom so we can switch those around in a minute we've got so between 0 and pi over 2 we've got y which is 4 sine t times dx dt, which is minus 4 sine t, with respect to t. So if we times these together, we've got negative 16 sine squared t with respect to t. Now, we can switch around the two t values here by changing the sign. So We've got a negative here. We can change it to a positive by switching them around. So that gives us 16 sine squared t with respect to t. And we can even take the 16 outside of the integral. So we're just integrating sine squared t with respect to t. Now, sine squared t integrated, so we need to use trig identities to integrate sine squared t. So, we use the cos to a identity. So, cos to a, which is cos squared a minus sine squared a. Or if we eliminate cos, which we want to do, it's 1 minus 2 sine squared a. So cos 2a equals 1 minus 2 sine squared a. We're going to change the a's to t's. So cos 2t equals 1 minus 2 sine squared t. And we need sine squared t by itself. So plus 2 sine t to both sides. Cos 2t plus 2 sine squared t equals 1. Subtract cos 2t from both sides. 1 minus cos 2t. And half each term. So sine squared t equals half minus half cos 2t. So finally, we can change sine squared t to half minus half cos 2t and we can integrate now so that gives us half integrated is half t cos integrated so i'll make i'll make the little note cos integrated goes to sine so we'll have sine 2t divided by the bracket differentiated half divided by 2 is a quarter 
um, we don't have to do plus C because we are going to be taking them away and it will eliminate them. And finally, we're going to substitute in our two values and we'll put it in the calculator. So we've got 16 times half times pi over 2 minus a quarter sine 2 pi over 2s, or just pi, minus half times 0 minus a quarter sine two zeros, so it's zero. And we can type that in the calculator and it should give us our answer. And we've got four pi units squared. Okay, here's another question. Pause the video, give it a go and press play when you're ready to go through the answer. So we've got an integration question. We want to change it to t's. So we will change it to y times dx dt with respect to t. We need to change our two x values as well. So when x is 6, subtract 3 from both sides. So t is 3. And when x is 3, subtracting 3 from both sides gives us 0. So we've got our two t values. We need to get dx dt. And dx dt, so t differentiated is 1. 3 disappears, so dx dt is 1. So between 3 and 0, We've got 1 times t squared plus 1 with respect to t. So we're going to integrate, add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. And we're not going to put the c on the end because we're going to be taking them away. So that gives us 3 cubed over 3 plus 3 take away 0 cubed over 3 plus 0. So what does that give us? That gives us 12. So 12 units squared.